the No Fade channel, checking in. On this episode of Dad's Home Gym, I am going over which are the best dumbbells for your home gym. We are gonna discuss interchangeable dumbbells, ergonomic handled dumbbells, rubber gripped handled dumbbells, fully knurled dumbbells, and we're gonna discuss last but not least, the dumbbells that you typically find in your local Globo gym. If this happens to be your first time to the channel, do me a massive favor, give this video a like and smash that red subscribe button. On this Dad's Home Gym series, hey, I just go over pieces of home gym equipment to help you decide what is gonna be right for your home gym and what is worth your hard earned money. Now I need to know from you, comment below if you already have dumbbells in your home gym, which ones do you have and do you like them? Dumbbells are one of the pieces of equipment that tends to get used the most often in many people's home gyms, especially mine. Why do I have so many different dumbbells? And the answer is because of you. So many of my subscribers have been using my affiliate links, which are in the description of today's video. And by using those links, you help support the channel. I take the money generated from those links and I put it right back into the channel for future reviews for you. So if you have used my affiliate links in the past or you plan to use them in the future, I wanna give you a huge thank you and know that that has helped fuel today's video. I wanna start off with interchangeable dumbbells. For most of you watching this video, space is the number one limiting factor with regards to your home gym. And the second limiting factor tends to be money. And interchangeable dumbbells solves both of those problems. Now there's a lot of companies out there that make interchangeable dumbbells. I have found from my experience and my personal use that the power blocks are the best. There are a number of different iterations of these power blocks. This is the Elite Series that I have that will go up to 90 pounds if you buy the extensions. You can actually get a Pro Elite Series that actually goes up to 125 pounds. But it allows you with only one pair of dumbbells to replace an entire home gym set of dumbbells because by simply removing this pin and replacing it, you're able to change the weight everywhere from five pounds all the way up to 90 pounds in this set. And again, 125 pounds with the Elite Pro version series. I will say that it is also a great way to save money with regards to comparing interchangeable dumbbells to buying every dumbbell from five pounds up to say 90 pounds. You are gonna save probably a factor of, of three or four X of what you would normally pay for a complete dumbbell set. And as far as space, rather than having a huge set of dumbbells and all the racks that go with it, you only really need two dumbbells, that's it. Boom, one of each and you have a complete set of dumbbells for your home gym. So these power block interchangeable dumbbells sound too good to be true. What's the catch? And there is a slight catch. And the answer is this grip, the feel of this dumbbell, it feels pretty good, but it is not gonna replace that feeling, that grip of your typical local gym dumbbells. It just doesn't feel the same. After a week or two of use, you certainly get used to it. You certainly get adjusted to it, but it's never gonna feel the same as a fully knurled handle that we've gotten so used to and so spoiled by in your local gyms. The other catch is wrapping your hands. For many of us, especially when we go heavy, like one arm rows or even dumbbell shrugs, we like to wrap the dumbbell. And because of the opening here, there really isn't enough room to kind of get in there and wrap your hand um, with a wrap around this handle. It's just one of those things that because of the design feature, you just can't wrap your hands. And while that isn't something that many of us worry about often, every once in a while, it is going to be an issue. And last and definitely not least is dropability, not necessarily a real word, but we know when you're going heavy in the gym, especially on an exercise like a dumbbell bench press, sometimes you simply fail and you have that weight in a position where you just can't sit up with it, okay? You got a lot of heavy weight against your chest, you've got to drop that weight, whether it's the left or to the right, you don't always have a spotter to grab it, these really should not, and I would argue cannot be dropped. If you had the right flooring and the right pad, you can drop them a little bit without any damage, but I would argue that most people, if you're not very careful, any type of drop will 
bend or dent or damage these significantly. Now, I have used these for four years. They are exactly the same as when I bought them, but I've never dropped them and I've never attempted to drop them either. Next up are ergonomically handled dumbbells with the rubber ends. And these are extremely popular, probably the most popular for two main reasons. Number one, I think almost every home gym retailer, even Target and Walmart sell a version of these that look and feel exactly the same. I'm talking Titan, Rogue, Fringe Sports, everybody sells these versions. And the number second reason, and probably the most important reason that people love these ergonomic handle dumbbells is that they are the lowest cost price per pound usually. Because 90% of all these ergonomic dumbbells are made in the same factory overseas. The price points are extremely low. And even though some companies will slap their logo on them, they're all the same. Now, the only difference between the really cheaper versions of these and the really uh, more higher priced versions tends to be the rubber that is used on the ends. The, the better versions, and I, I wanna say Rogue because I know those tend to be a bit better, um, have a little bit less smell. They ha tend to have a little bit less like chemical smell when you first get them. And the rubber tends to be softer, tends to have a bit more give and a bit better feel. When you think ergonomic handle, you think that these must be easy, comfortable, and great to just grip, rip, and lift with these things. And I'll tell you, that's a little bit of a marketing ploy. These ergonomic handles are raised in the middle. There is slight knurling in the middle that is fairly passive, and then they kind of contour down towards the ends. Unfortunately, that is just a marketing ploy to sell you these. The ergonomic handle is actually designed to be easier to manufacture, less expensive to manufacture, and that allows them to save money and you know just kind of sell you on that. I have found with these ergonomic handles, they do tend to be very slippery in the hand. They certainly do not replace a fully knurled handle at all. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to, if you, especially if you're going heavy, chalk up your hands or you're gonna have to just wrap up these dumbbells. They absolutely get the job done, especially at those price points. But do keep in mind, even though they claim to be ergonomic, they are gonna be a bit slippery and they're not gonna feel the same as your local gym weights. Now, the next style of dumbbell is one that I've only ever seen at repfitness.com. And that is a rubberized handle with the rubberized top. And I picked up a pair of 20s and 25s for my wife, thinking that she would enjoy them. And I'll be honest with you, I've liked them better than her. So this is a rubberized handle. And you think rubber, you think once your hands get sweaty, it's going to be like a slip and slide hold, trying to hold on to this thing. And it's actually the reverse. Typically with the ergonomic handles, once my hands are deep into the workouts and they're just like faucets, they're just covered in sweat, these things are really a challenge to hold on to. This is like, it's almost like using chalk when you grab this thing. It's, they use a really good quality rubber. I don't know how they do it, but it just ends up being a really solid grip, even when your hands are super duper sweaty. So what's the catch, right? There's always a catch. And the answer is they are more expensive than your typical ergonomic handles. You can save a lot of money if you buy them by the set, but obviously you're going to be getting what you pay for. And the other catch happens to be at that heavier weight. You can get these anywhere from five pounds up to a hundred pounds. Buying sets of 50 or the five to 75 or the five to a hundred is a great way to save money. However, I would think that these up to 50 is really where you want to stop. Reason being is for those of you that like to wrap your hands when it comes to those heavy weights, whether it's one arm rows or just shrugs, you really don't get the same feel wrapping these as you would a fully knurled handle. Something about the rubber makes it a little bit more difficult to wrap because it's already got a lot of friction built in because of that rubber. It just makes it a bit more difficult to wrap. I don't think many of you are going to be affected by it, but I think if you're going to be going all the way up to the hundreds and you plan on going heavy and wrapping your hands, that's something you do need to take into consideration. I want to skip over to the best of the best urethane dumbbells with fully knurled handles and you typically find these at your local gym and what's the claim to fame well 
they have fully knurled handles and that's typically something that not only have we gotten used to as local gym goers but it's something that people prefer it gives you a really great grip it makes it easy to wrap and overall the experience is amazing and one of the great things about the urethane dumbbells is that at the heavier heavier weights these are 95s that these ends these urethane tops and bottoms don't actually get crazy big it makes it a little bit easier to maneuver especially when you go to the heavier weights it also makes it a little bit easier to store also they are circular which allows you to roll them across the local gym floor or your home gym floor. So what's the catch? Why don't most people go with these urethane handles? Because they are sold by Rep Fitness, Titan Fitness, and a few others. I'll put links in the description. And the catch is money. That's just the name of the game. If you want the best, you typically have to pay for the best. And oftentimes, we can see this price point jump three to even four X what you might pay for other types of dumbbells. And if you can think about or picture a full dumbbell set, that money is going to add up quite, quite quickly. These Rep Fitness dumbbells give you the best of both worlds. You get that beautiful grip it and rip it fully knurled handle that we love, that we know, that we've gotten used to, that we want. You get that, but you don't get that crazy price point of the urethane dumbbells because they use these rubber tops that allow you to save money but still get that same feeling of having the local gym dumbbells but in your home gym environment. And you are able to save a ton of money by buying these things in sets. They tend to give a lot of extra savings if you do buy them in sets. I will say what's the one downside with regards to comparing to a urethane dumbbell? Well, whether it is the ergonomic or even the rubber, or the fully knurled rubber from Rep Fitness. As you get heavier, these ends get bigger. Same thing happens in the urethane dumbbells. It just doesn't happen as quickly. And now it's time. It is time for Fate of the Union, where I give you my thoughts on which is gonna be the best dumbbell for you. But first, I wanna give you a warning. Whatever dumbbells you go with, I need you to think long and I need you to think hard because they're gonna last you quite a long time. And there is nothing worse than making a snap decision only to regret it a few months in and be forced to try to sell whatever you bought at a loss and then pick up what you really ultimately wanted. So definitely put in that research before you pull that final buy it now trigger. Okay, if you are looking to save space and if you're looking to save money, there's no way around it. Power blocks or at least interchangeable dumbbells are the way to go. It saves you from having a ton of pairs of dumbbells littering your home gym. And for the price point in terms of use, in terms of functionality, you're not going to find a cheaper um, or a more uh, effective use of your money than these interchangeable dumbbells. Do keep in mind they're never going to feel like your local gym dumbbell, but you will get used to them and they will definitely be extremely functional. For me and for my budget, I found that the Rep Fitness fully knurled handled dumbbells were the sweet spot where I got all that local gym feel of the dumbbell, but I didn't have to pay that massive urethane dumbbell price. I will say I never fault anyone when it comes to a home gym for buying the best of the best. So if you are looking to get the best of the best, and price is not an issue, go with the urethane dumbbells because they're gonna last you a lifetime and if it's something that you're gonna be using day in and day out, why not spend the money on yourself? But again, from my point of view, from my budget and from my value system, these Rep Fitness fully knurled handles were the way to go. For those of you looking to pick up pairs of dumbbells so you get that local gym experience but you're also looking to save money, I've got two tips for you. First and foremost, as I've already mentioned a few times in this video, buy a complete set. There is a ton of savings by buying a whole set at once. You tend to get a big discount from that company and that's just the way to go. That's the name of the game. The other way is at the higher weights, at the higher ends of the weights, not to buy every increment of dumbbell. Oftentimes, because we're used to those local gyms, especially at Amer as Americans, we're used to five pound increments and unfortunately, we don't really realize that you don't use those weights at the heavier level. So as an example, instead of going 75, 80, 85, 90, you should go 70, 80, 90. Oftentimes you will realize 
that you don't miss the, the five pound increment during your training. They don't get used nearly as much and you will quickly adapt your training around those non-existent dumbbells. Something to think about and it'll save you a fortune in the long run. Hopefully you found today's video informative. Comment below which of these dumbbells is right for your home gym. I'm always curious what people are picking up for their home gym and what their thought process is for their space and for their workout routines. If you came this far in the video, do me a massive favor, check out the affiliate links in the description below. It does help out the channel a lot and it does help me put out future content because the money generated from those links goes right back into the channel. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for that trip back.